Hey! Thank gosh. It is the night of December 2019. I do pray you all are blessed. I really do. Because so much is being poured out. And, and I know we all really understand this, you know. The, the chaos is really nothing more than the devil's plan to bring the world into a state of hopelessness, essentially, and bring in the solution through a spiritual offering. Because that's what people are looking to fill, are these empty spiritual holes. And the devil's going to do everything he can in this world to lead people down the broad path. Okay, and that's exactly what's happening. You have a literal race of beings, if you will, among mankind that is spiritually bringing in, manifesting this great deception, this offering of false light and false hope. It's everywhere. Okay. Now, it's not an egg, is it? It's a, it's a, it's a vessel? Is that what you it's call it? He said, make sure you tell everyone it's a vessel. And I said, okay. Okay, it's a vessel. Yeah. Okay, it's a vessel. And, and you were in there for like a couple of hours. I right? was in it for three days. For three days? Wow. wow that's... <laughs> Actually, it was in, uh, inspired by uh, humanoids, uh, okay. alien, sex, humanoid, hybrid woman. My favorite? <laughs> now, this is, now you, you do something that women don't do. And what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth, uh, yeah. it's meant to signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race. And it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity. Yeah. That, that's really the statement in itself. Well, that's great. That's really good. That's really good. Now, you are... So... Right after Kanye West came out with his latest album and started to do his Sunday service thing in public and was drawing immense amount of publicity, you know what I mean? And was being supported by entities that are known, I mean factually known, to produce wicked demonic product for the public. You know, it's a, it, they mix this this spiritual warfare into the natural world in a deceptive way. Do you understand? And it basically, it's a combination of magic, sorcery, mind control, all the above. And they employ this stuff everywhere in the world. So I'm sitting on this Kanye West stuff because when I point out the things that these people do, you know, like Kanye or Trump or anyone, because their pride, their arrogance, and the deception they're under, okay? I don't doubt that Kanye believes he's following Jesus. The question is, is what Jesus? Because it ain't my Jesus. And Kanye is just offering, just like Joel Olstein, these broad, wide paths. And love is love. Isn't Jesus love? You know? So they got to understand that sin equals death. And we are born into sin. We are sin nature. I mean, that was baked into the cake back in the garden, man. And the only way to atone for that is the blood of Christ, the Lamb of God. The time is coming where this grace that God is so... His mercies are immeasurable. They truly are. It's going to end. There's a time limit on a grace period. You understand? That's how it works. And so, again, I've been sitting on this Kanye West stuff, and then in the last several days, we've had these two shootings at these military bases, Navy bases, actually, at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii and at Pensacola, Florida. And I'm just looking at these articles, and I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, the Pearl Harbor shooting, the shooter's name was Gabriel Romero. We could go into this guy's name alone, and he happens to be 22 years old, right? But we had an admiral, whatever he is, the, the commander of the base, comes out in a, in a press statement that everything unfolded in 23 seconds in a packed area, and he uses that number, 23. How would he know that it's 23 seconds? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, these things jump out to me. 
because this is all about the 23 and 23, the 46. It's a DNA thing. It's a blood thing. Okay, it's spiritual and it's natural because it's baked into us. So there is a natural DNA uh, connection to this. But science is not going to tell you and me uh, if they had, in fact have discovered, you know, something with the DNA. Lord knows that they want nothing more than to play with your DNA now. That's the big thing. It's like, give us your DNA. Give us your DNA. We'll tell you who your family was. You know, and all this kind of stuff. But it's related directly to the DNA. And the separation, the wheat and the tares, that's your 2346, okay? You have two 23s there. Well, when you are reborn in the spirit of the living God through Jesus Christ, by his blood, it's a separation. You're reborn. You're, you're literally spiritually regenerated. And, and, and a natural physical change happens within you. When you experience this, you know it. There's no questioning it, right? And from henceforth, you're walking in that spirit. Otherwise, the deceptions and the temptations of this world will draw you back in. And there you are again, sitting right in the middle of it. What I'm showing you is the tears and how they operate. And that this separation is in fact underway. Okay, you got to choose who you're going to serve. So the guy's name's Gabriel Romero. You know, Gabriel, and I had a commenter comment on this. I had forgotten it. I read it once before that Gabriel, the angel Gabriel, according to Islam, is the angel that gave the Quran to Muhammad, right? And the shooter in Pensacola happens to be named Muhammad, right? And then one of the first victims they came out with in Pensacola, his name was Joshua Caleb Watson. Okay, now just hold on to that for a minute because I want to finish the Pearl Harbor thing. The Gabriel Romeo, okay, the link to, to Muhammad over there. And also the Alpha Romeo, there's a lot of history behind that. Uh, if you just go look at some of their logos and just their history and whatnot, their logo is and always has been a serpent devouring a man with a cross. Because again, that's a whole nother video. And it's it's depicting Genesis 6. Ezra 9, when they come back from Babylon, they discover that they've all, even the priests and the leaders of Israel, have blended themselves and mixed their seed with the Canaanites, with the sons of Anak. This is what's going on. And this is what we're dealing with both physically and spiritually. There is such deceit. You cannot compete with the cunningness of Satan. You need the Spirit of the Living God. The Holy Spirit must be your teacher and guide. It's just that simple. Through the Word, who is Christ? But the whole thing, the article with the Pearl Harbor shooting, I'll leave it in the description. It unfolded in 23 seconds at the place where more than 2,300 Americans were killed. And one of the victim's mothers comes out and, and she's weeping. And she says, I'm so sorry, Anak Ko, meaning my child or my son in a Filipino language. But Anak, in the Pensacola shooting, Joshua Caleb Watson happens to be 23 years old, right? And Joshua and Caleb are in Numbers 13, 14, the scouts that went into the promised land, saw the giants, the sons of Anak, and 10 of the 12 said, we can't take on those guys. But Joshua and Caleb said, let's go get them right now. We can take them. Let's go. And then all the murmuring that the other ones did caused them to have to wander in the desert. They all died, except for Joshua and Caleb. I mean, these are just things, you guys, that I see. Watson, his last name, Watson, right? The IBM Watson. And I was just talking about Merkel and Hitler on the last video. Well, that's what IBM was, was Hitler's devised machines, devices they created to operate and manage Hitler's Nazi machine. All the logistics, statistics create an efficient, systematic fear through deceit and, of course, death control. That's what Watson, IBM, did for Hitler. And... Watson just happens to be the father of Q, as in the IBM 
Q, quantum computer. You guys, that's who this is doing this. Listen to Gordy Rose. He tells you exactly who they are. Anyway, builds quantum computers. The way that they work, if you know this, how this works, is one of the interpretations is that you tap into these parallel universes. Yes, there are these massively intelligent entities out there, and these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons, they're not evil. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want. Nobody is paying attention. This thing is happening in the background, and underneath it all, is this rising tsunami that is going to wipe us all out. These are the fallen entities, you guys. These are the powers and principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places. And I've already made a 12-minute video just on these two things leading to the Kanye thing. But it's just revealing the tears. It's revealing the works of the devil in these last days, trying as hard as he can to usher as many people down that broad road that leads to destruction. You understand? That's the whole point. And he'll come in Jesus' name, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay? It's all about the heart, people. That's where he hears from. You understand? And I and this stuff here is going to have to be a separate video on the Kanye thing. But I'm telling you, just between Merkel, Hitler, the whole connection to the fallen, to the Nephilim, the giants, the things they're doing with the DNA. But God gives us this understanding. And check it out. I have to show you this before I go. Look at this random Bible verse that I got this morning. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass, darkly. But then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. Verse 12. But that's what I got. So take this with discernment, take it to the word, take it to prayer. But this is what we're seeing. We are witnessing the apocalypse, the revealing of that dark world that is coming to that final battle. And the only way that you're going to have victory in this battle is by Jesus Christ. Seek him. Hear him. Hope this blessed somebody. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God,